G'day guys, welcome back. Got my dirty gloves on. <laughs> I just did a pour before, so I'm gonna go again. Um, this is a previously used canvas. I've just coated it with some white. The white is my Artist Loft white and 50% milk paint to white. And then I mix that one-to-one -one with Floetrol. And then for my gold, I've just got a lot of this, so I thought I'm going to use it. I'm not expecting it to react, but I'm just going to use it. It's the Sargent's, and I've mixed – this is very, very thin. So I've mixed this one and a half parts paint to one part Floetrol. And then my Liquitex Basics paints, I'm using three parts Floetrol to one part paint. I've got the Dioxazine Purple, which is that one there. This red is Alizarin Crimson. The white, I've told you about my white, I've told you about the gold. The blue is primary blue with a touch of black. I think I put too much in it though. <laughs> it's kind of lost its blueness. Anyway, I've got it, I'm going to use it. And I'm going to layer my paints and I'm going to do a ring pour. The last one I did, the last ring pour, I'll just show it to you. Even though it's really, really pretty, I really like it. I just thought that maybe the mix was... A little bit thin it's got some weird reactions up there with the white so I don't have any Liquitex basics uh, sorry Liquitex pouring medium in this mix like I did in that one I know a lot of people use it I, I don't know why I don't know the benefit of it but um, anyway I'm just making it slightly thicker I'm going to start with some blue nice amount of blue on the bottom like I did last time then the gold and I've got the gold a bit thicker this time. And then my white. I have a good amount of white. And then let's go, no, let's go purple. Go purple? Pink. Purple. Let's go some purple. And then we might do some more gold. And some more navy. Finish that off. It's got a weird shade of blue, this. I think the phthalo blue works much better when you try and darken it. You add a little bit of black to phthalo blue. It works better than the primary blue. This has gone a, a yucky blue. But I couldn't waste it. It's too expensive. More white. I'm just going to do two layers of white in this. Hopefully that will be enough. I'm going to make sure I've got enough paint this time. I kind of thought I had not enough last time. Let's put the red next to the white this time. And then some more gold and finish off with some purple. There we go. Nice full cup. Move that back. Okay. Do some rings again, hey? Pinch that there. I don't know how much I've got here. Actually, I might just weigh that full cup quickly. I know how much I've got. 390 grams. All right, here we go. If you guys saw my last pour, you will have noticed that I said that my, it's doing it again, the blue was looking a little bit hazy, the white was coming over the top of the blue and kind of looking a little bit hazy. Maybe I need to get closer to the surface so it doesn't mix as much, maybe. Okay, that was pretty fast, wasn't it? And the gold already looks better. I've thickened the gold up, as I said. Last time I did it equal parts of the gold to the Floetrol, and this time I've got one and a half parts paint to one part Floetrol, just to thicken it up. Yeah, that's looking better already, you guys. Isn't it? You can actually see the white little 
cloudy forms there. Last time I just think it was too, too thin. It all blended so much that I lost that effect straight away. It just blurred. I shouldn't really torch. You don't need to torch. Sometimes I just get too close and I damage the paint. All right, this is looking better already. My table's obviously not straight. Otherwise, or oh, maybe I'm just pouring on an angle. <laughs> I don't know. See this here? It doesn't really look blue. It's more of a it's more of a greeny blue. When I add the black, it goes to like a greeny blue. I don't think I'm going to go around in circles. I'm just going to go. I'm going to go straight off to that corner first. Do I want to go over? I might just come back. I'll go over later. I wanted to see if I can get some effects happening by moving the paint. Back to the middle. Go over here. And back to the middle. Oh, I'm gonna lose my red. Goodbye, red. Goodbye. I'll go over the corner now. Goodbye. So you lose a lot of paint going over a corner, don't you? So much paint. Do you feel that you kind of need to have the paint? The, a lot of paint to actually get everything moving and to get the paint rubbing against itself. I, I do think that you need a lot of paint. Now there's this big band here of white, which I don't like on the bottom. I'm going to see if I can take that white off so that I've got that bluey, greeny colour on the bottom. If I can, if I've got enough paint to do so. Hopefully I have. Oh, there's a little bit left there. That might just have to stay, that little bit there. I'm just trying for a darker corner, you know, just to balance off that other corner, which is so pale. I don't want to take too much of my, I can't even call it green anymore. It's more of a, not blue anymore. It's more of a greeny blue. It's a strange shade. Okay. Now I've got too much of that white there so I need to get rid of some of that I think I just feel there's too much down there that's about enough come back It's unusual, isn't it? <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to leave it there because I don't want to get rid of any more of that greenish, bluish colour. And I've got some lovely little clouds forming in there. My cloud formations are better. See how they're staying together? Over here, they're starting to break a little bit, which is what I got more in that last one. I'm just going to zoom you in a little bit so that you can maybe see a little bit better. Come on. No, no, don't, don't go dark. Zoom out. My hands have got that, you know, that powder from the gloves. They've got that powder on them, so I've got the powder on my fingers. So 
My hands don't want to <clears throat> zoom properly on the screen. All right, now I'm just being OCD, trying to set up. Uh, there we go. I'm trying to center it. Okay, so that's it there. So it's still pretty, hey? Um, again, I've said it a hundred times. Well, maybe not a hundred, but cloud pores aren't really my thing. I mean, they're okay. I don't go, oh, wow, look at that. Uh, when I do the metallic pearls, the pearls I love. I love the pearl pores. Um, I get these round effects, but I guess because they're shimmery and, and pretty, I, I like them better. I don't know if you can see down here. See how the, the clouds kind of breaking up? And then over here, they're more in their, in their shape. This gold's actually quite pretty in here. You can definitely see the gold more in this pore than you could in the previous one. I'll show you the previous one again. Get him out. I do like this one actually. I, I, I like how this one's got the blue in it. But if you have a look at the actual white pearls, the clouds, I should say, see how they're not that defined? They've kind of got a bit wishy washy and broken up. Whereas these, you can actually still see the white. And I think that's the difference. This one, this mix here was a little bit thinner. I do prefer the blue on that one though. But look, they're both pretty. They're just different. This one's got blue and purple. This one's more green and gold, isn't it? But you can see, look at the cloud effect. So the thinner the cloud mixture, um, the less definition you get in your clouds. So there you go. So put that back. It can go and dry. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, righto, I better stop. Clean up, just run my, oh, that needs a bit of paint, doesn't it? Let's just grab some of this pale paint here, put that there. Trying to make it look as if it matches. Just put it on the top and let it run down and make its own little pattern is usually the best idea. That corner's done. That corner's done. How's that one near you? Is that need doing? Let me have a look. Mm, no, it's okay. Let's grab those blobs from underneath. It's an interesting colour scheme, this one. I, I had no idea that that um, blue with the black was going to give me this kind of greenish shade and, and I guess with it being the gold as well has made it more of a greenish kind of a shade so yeah it's pretty you can just imagine what it would look like if I'd used the um, extreme sheen gold hey but I didn't want to put it in with a cloud pour a cloud pour is for clouds the pearl pour is for pearls and I don't really want the two to mix so all right I'll leave it at that and um yeah I'm in the light again. I've got a light behind me. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed that. And um, I'll see you for the next one. Have a go at the cloud paws. See if you can get the Folk Art Milk paint. I personally prefer it. I get a better effect with the milk paint. I don't know if you guys, maybe you prefer the satin enamels. I have tried it. I haven't been very successful with it. Maybe it's just... I'm not making it thick enough maybe I'm not making it thin enough I, I don't know I just have better results when I use the milk paint so have a go at both see which one you think let me know which one you prefer and put your photos up on the Australian acrylic pouring group and please subscribe I'm nearly at a hundred thousand subscribers you guys it's so exciting thank you so so much so please subscribe hit the little bell um, and then every time I do a new video you'll be notified so you won't miss out on anything all right Thanks for watching. Bye for now.